Hi, welcome to MCTV, and I'm your host, Tyler Finney. And I'm Kirstie Duchesne. And our first story, Estelle takes a trip to the Mournville Boutique Flower Shop for Valentine's Day. And we have uh, the fetal pig part with... Um, with Chastity Charenstrom and Stephen Pittis. And we also have a special treat. We have a game show in store for all you lonely people. And, and for all you sports fanatics, we have a preview of this weekend's third annual inter invitational basketball tournament. <laughs> And welcome back. Um, so report cards and parenting tour interviews are coming up right away, and midterms just passed. So Tyler, how'd you do on your midterms? Well, I um, failed, and it wasn't my fault really. I just didn't, I didn't uh, do any practicing or testing or anything, and and um, and uh, so if my mom's watching, just uh, turn it off right now. And how about you? I did pretty good, um, besides my biology mark, that kind of threw me, but I don't know, I'm going to graduate this year, <laughs> hopefully. And considering it's Valentine's Day, Estelle decided to find out what all you men should have bought your women. Believe me, if you didn't, you are going to get your butt kicked. Yes, yes you are, believe me. Women, cheap, women, cheap men get nowhere with women. <laughs> women just, they, they have something for Valentine's Day. Men, it's like they really don't care. But women, it's like their life. If you don't get them something, then you're uh, pretty much toast. And so we have, for all you romantics, you get to see a real heart in the fetal pig dissection coming up. Have fun. Nothing seems to say I love you or Valentine's Day quite like a rose. So we're here in Mournville at the boutique to find out how we can extend the life of the flowers we receive on Valentine's Day from loved ones and who is this mysterious Floyd. Hi, I'm here with Brenda and Kathy at the, flor the florist shop in Mournville, and I want to find out a few questions about flowers. Now, it's Valentine's Day, love is in the air. What's the most popular uh, flower this time of the year? Well, of course, the rose, the red rose, long stem rose is the most popular flower. So, flower maintenance, I mean, you get your roses, how do you make them last the longest, like as long as possible? Uh, the best way for a rose is to take it and recut the stem underwater and just keep the water nice and clean, put some flower food in there. That's the best, and keep it cool. That's the best way to keep it lasting longer. Right, any, any other tips for us? If your rose drops its head after the next day that you get it, take the whole rose and give it a bath. Stick it right in the sink in warm water and leave it sit there for a half hour and it'll suck up all the moisture that it needs. And you can wrap it in wet newspaper and put it in the fridge and the, and the head will stand back up for you for another day or so. so try that. Yeah. Okay, we're, we're surrounded by, um, by loads of beautiful flowers here. Uh, what's your favorite? My favorite flower. I like carnations. They're cheaper and they last longer and they smell just as good as a rose. That would be my pick. All you guys out there, buy them carnations. You won't have to worry about complaints. Okay, so how do you decide when you're designing a, a bouquet, what goes with what? What goes together? Well, a dozen roses seem to be going together for Valentine's Day. We have tons of orders of those, but I've been doing it for 15 years and you pretty much just see what it looks like in a picture people pick out of a book and you usually put spring flowers together roses go together it's just I don't know I just throw them in the pot and they look good we've got a good selection of cute little gorillas this guy's name is called Floyd 
We had Floyd last year and lots of people really liked him. You get kind of attached to these stuffed animals then. Yeah, yeah, you can name them, we can name them, or you can pick out your own name, but yeah, he's so, he's so cute, cuddly. We also have lots of balloons. You can put balloons in with your flowers, or you can just take a balloon on its own and put it with a single flower, with a dozen roses, or put them with Floyd. Just before Valentine's Day, these pails will be filled with 2,000 red roses. Don't forget to get something for your sweetheart. Hi, um, well, I promised to Stella I would never reveal the secret that she is actually a fetal pig. I'm really, really, really sorry, Estelle, I slipped. I Did hope she you ever? forgive me. I'm that was cry. terrible. <laughs> Anyways, grad pictures are on the 6th and 7th of March. All grads, sign up soon. And if you haven't gone to get fitted for your gowns, do it right now, please. I'm going to get mine fitted soon. You're not soon even really graduating, good. Finny. No, but my gown size. Oh, okay. And anyways, we have some love messages from all you people out there. Okay. Um, to my sweetheart, Anthony, love your look. Christy. And Maxine says to John Harris, come over f tonight for a Valentine's treat. I love you, Crystal Brown, you sexy hunk of burning love. Love always, Michelle. Happy Valentine's Day, Buttercup. I love you, Sarah. Love your Valentine's Day partner. Uh, there's a baby blue beamer waiting for a pickup truck to come pick her up. Don't be late. Happy Valentine's Day to all my friends, because boyfriends come and go, but friends last forever. And uh, happy Valentine's Day, love Mark, to Aaron. And Pat says he'd like to wish his girlfriend Dawn a very happy Valentine's Day. And now we're going into our uh, fetal pig portion. That uh, It's really gross if you want to turn your eyes or something, if you don't like that kind of stuff. But it really looks like an actual heart. So uh, It looks like Estelle. See you later. We're here at MCHS, and behind me here we are in room 201. And we are watching fetal pig dissection. Okay, I'm here with Mr. Pritchard. Mr. Pritchard, where do you get your pigs? Well, we purchase them from the chemical supply houses. And actually, they come from the packing plants where the pregnant sows are slaughtered. And they save the pigs. They drain the blood and inject paint into the arteries and veins. Okay, I'm here with Andrea. What did you name your pig? We named it Pinhead. Hemisphere of the brain here. We're just trying to get the skull and the skin away from it. And see if we can get the whole brain out. <laughs> Yeah, they're all packaged and preserved, so they don't smell as bad. That's Hi, welcome back. Don't you think the fetal pig kind of looks like Jabba the Hutt? Actually, it does, except Jabba the Hutt is a little bit more disgusting, if you ask me. Have you seen the new uh, Star Wars? Actually, last weekend I went to see it, and it was pretty good. It's not actually that much different. There was a little few dinosaurs, a couple new scenes. The fight scenes were awesome. They were... They were really changed. So I heard that uh, there it's overpassing. It's going to overpass the Great ET. Ah, I, I heard so t also. I hope so. Star Wars is a classic, you know, since we weren't born when it came out, you know. All those old people like uh, Mr. B, let's say, who happens to be for sale, I've heard. How much, how much for, like, five, six cents? And uh, we have a game show coming up with, um, it's kind of like a, make your match a uh, newlywed game type thing. It's going to be school. wonderful. So I hope you have a nice time watching it and we'll see you when you get back. Hi, welcome to this episode of Let's Make a Match. Today's lucky contestant is Candy. 
Hi, Mom. So, Candy, what do you hope to get out of this week's show? I want to get a boyfriend and like a really long relationship. Oh. Someone who will love me and care for me for a long time. So, uh, do you have any pets? Uh, I have fish. Fish, eh? Do you talk to them? On occasion. All right, well, let's see if we can get her a man. Go! What do you think of this man? <laughs> uh, he, he's, he's cute. Yeah? Yeah. All right. Yeah. What do you think of this man? He has nice hair. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Whoa! Where did you find him? Ah, in the streets. <laughs> He's awesome. He's walking around the studio. Yeah. yeah. Now's the time to choose. Which one do you think was the looker? Well, other than yourself, I'd have to say contestant number one. Ah, good choice. Good choice. Okay, now we're moving into the personality round. This is where you uh, ask the contestants questions and you pick one on their personality. Okay. Uh, this is a question for all three bachelors. If I were a musical instrument, how would you play me? <laughs> <laughs> Say that for the Valentine's Day. If we were to go out on Valentine's Day, what would be your idea of a perfect date? You're confusing me. I think my dog is pretty sexy. <laughs> <laughs> say that for Valentine's. Okay. He's got to say. For all three bachelors, if I were an animal, which one would you choose me to be? Well, I feel his dog sounds mighty sexy. <laughs> what are you doing after this? I don't know. Yeah. Okay, well, it's judgment time. Which one of these three bachelors would you like? <laughs> You're a bachelor, aren't you? Well, Yes, but I, I'm not a contestant. You know, but, yeah. Oh, you could be a contestant. Well, I guess I could be a player. Yeah, you definitely could be a player. Yeah, so you want to go have a game? <laughs> for sure. All right, well, let's go. <laughs> well, that's it for this week of uh, Let's Make a Match, and we'll see you next time. What's up, boy? It's one of my babes, man. I got the chicks. <sighs> Yo. Mom? Yeah, Mom. Yeah, Mom, I'll be home. I'm on, Mom, Mom, I'm 32 years old. I'll clean up my room when I want to. Mom, don't cry. Mom, I'm sorry. I love you, Mommy. I'll be home. I'll be home in 10 minutes. I love you, Mom. And as you guys might have heard, that you uh, 2 is coming to town on uh, June 14th. Commonwealth Stadium. Tickets go on sale tomorrow at 9 a.m. They will be sold out in a matter of like an hour. These guys are huge. They've always been huge since they came, went. I don't know, in 1978 they were formed in Dublin, Ireland. And the members are Bono Vox, whose real name happens to be Paul Hewson. And The Edge, who happens to be David Evans. And Adam Clayton and Larry Mullen Jr. are some other members of the band. They have eight albums out and they've won seven Grammys. And uh, I was, I was fortunate to go to the dance this weekend. There's about, whoa, 15 people there. And uh, it turned out actually not bad. I had fun. I learned how to two-step. I'm a Nova Scotia boy, so I have no clue how to. So how is the Mooj dancing going Mooj, on there? Mooj, Mooj, Mooj. Jeff Moore dances so funny. You just have to go for it. It's worth $5 just to watch him dance. He does. He jumps up in the air, does and the splits. We have great. a basketball segment coming up. Uh, Trish put together a nice basketball piece to preview the tournament this weekend. So I hope you enjoy. Have a great time watching. Your boys and girls basketball teams have a busy schedule ahead of them this year. The senior boys basketball team are gearing up to get ready for their third annual Prairie Wolves Invitational Basketball Tournament that is taking place this weekend, starting on Thursday. The girls basketball team is heading to Lacombe this weekend for some more basketball action.
As you can see, the girls are busy this week, getting ready for a big tournament in Lacombe this weekend. If you haven't yet seen them in action this season, you could catch them at their home tournament taking place from February 28th to March 1st. In the meantime, the senior boys started their tournament yesterday. In their first match, they rolled over the Edmonton Christian Lions by a score of 79-48, led by the performances of number 7 Pat Froman and number 8 Chris Miller. The Wolves are off to a great start. Several rookies have also answered the challenge, led by the likes of number 11, Ricky Lamage. If you didn't have the chance to see the Wolves play yesterday, you could catch them this afternoon when they face up against local rivals Sturgeon Comp. For a loonie, you can leave your Block B class to join the action. The Root for Beer contest will be taking place during this game. All you have to do is enter a team of six and cheer on your favorite team. Reporting for MCTV Sports, this is Trisha Maslick. And as you can tell, we're coming live from uh, Mournville Gymnasium, where uh, the third annual Prairie Wolves uh, tournament's coming. And the teams playing currently are Archbishop Bishop Jordan, who are leading at 68 to 45 over Stettler. Um, I was fortunate to go uh, watch Mournville defeat um, Edmonton Christians last night. It was a really good game. Um, Chris Miller was the MVP of the game, with 27 points, I think. Really good performance. And they play tonight, today at 1.30. So if anybody wants to come down and watch it, it's only a dollar to get in. And, uh, cool. and well, we're covering the basketball tournaments all weekend. So come out and watch. It's not that expensive. Got enough pocket cash to come back and see it. And um, good luck to all the teams involved. And we have a special, uh, one of our students last year, Ryan Keene, is in the National Junior Championships for curling in Manitoba and uh, he's in the semi or the finals on CBC at 11 o'clock. So and I hope you watch. enjoyed the show so uh, watch us next time we're on. Goodbye. See ya.